Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a speedometer on your heads-up display. So, while you're playing your car game, you'll have your speed showed onto the screen. So, let's start. So, first, I'm here in a default um, car world. And I can select my car right here. And in the world outliner, I can see edit sedan. A sedan. <laughs> Or you can go in your content browser and just find it in the blueprints, uh, no, not in the blueprints, in the sedan, and open it, or whatever car you're using. So I'll start off in my event tick, and what I'll do here is I'll get my vehicle movement, which is right here, so I can just drag that in there, and then out of that, I'm going to get my forward speed. So get forward speed now. If I promote this to a variable and I show you what it looks like, let's see what it looks like. So, first I'm just going to go ahead and create a widget so that we can have on top of our screen. I'll just call this one HUD, Heads Up Display. And in my sedan, in the event begin play, I'm going to do create widget. And out of the return value, add to viewport. So create widget and add to viewport. And then as the class, I will select my heads up display. Compile and save that. And now I have, oops, so one thing I forgot to do. In my heads up display, let's open that up. And let's add a text here so we can actually see our speed. I'm just going to do size to content. And I'm going to make this a bit bigger. Compile and save. Um, and now, in the text, in the content text, there's a bind button right here. I'm going to do create binding. And that just creates a binding for the text so that you can modify the text. Um, now here, I'm going to do cast to sedan. Because that's the name of our blueprint here, cast to sedan. For the object, I'm going to do get player pawn, oops, which is the first one usually that's selected. So I'm just going to do enter. And then out of as sedan, I'm going to do first, let me just check what the name of my variable is. Let me modify this to um, speed. And now here I'm going to do get speed and scroll all the way to the bottom and find it right here. I'll slide that in there. And now I'll compile. Oops, what does it say? Read the value of the variable speed. That's odd. Let's try that again. There you go. It's just because I hadn't compiled here. Alright, now, as you can see, those are really high numbers, and I don't think there's any car that can go that fast. Um, maybe a rocket. So, what I'll do now is, in my event tick, I'll move this all the way out, and I'll actually unplug this too just so that it doesn't cause any troubles in the future. Compile and save. Now, out of get forward speed, I'm going to multiply that. And this multiplication is just to change it. It's going to be a float uh, times float. And that's going to be a value of 0 0.036. And it's 0 uh, 0.036 because when you want to convert it from units per seconds to kilometers per hour, you need to divide the speed by 3.6, and then you divide that by 100, which makes 0 0.036. So that's what you put in. I'm just going to unplug this by holding Alt and just clicking there. Now, out of this, I'm going to make this into an absolute value, absolute float, and then drag that into a float. Uh, whoops, floor, not float. And then out of the return value, uh, first actually I'm going to do a right click and just do append. So that's just to add um, a word before it. So if I drag this into the A, the first value will be the value of the speed, and then the second value will be 
um, for example, kilometers per hour. So I'm going to do a little space here, so it leaves a space between it. And I'm going to do kilometers per hour. All right, now here for the speed value, I'm going to change this to a string by just selecting it and going here and do string. And it says change variable type. Now it's just telling me what it did. Um, and there you go. Now I can drag this in here, compile and save. And I can go in here, drag this back in here, and just slide that in there. And now, if I compile and save, and I go here, you should see your speed. And it's a super simple thing to do. You can do that on any car that you want, any vehicle, even people, if you want to have uh, someone and you want to see how fast they're running or something like that, you can add their speed. Um, and if you want it in meters per second or things like that, you can always just find that on Google. So you can say, instead of kilometers per hour, I can do meters per second, and it's actually the same thing. So it's again 3.6. All right, so pretty simple thing to do, pretty straightforward, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this this tutorial, and see you guys on the next one.